All right, I don't know if we've officially hit 90 yet today, but it seems like it, but Joe's here to break it all down for well, you. Well, our unofficial high for the day is 89, but we have to wait until 8 o'clock tonight to get the in-between hourly observation. So it may have snuck up to that 90-degree mark between official observations. <laughs> That's what we're thinking. We'll find out later tonight, reported on uh, 11 o'clock news. But uh, hot nonetheless. Oh, Whatever yes. the temperature, 89, 90 degrees, it was hot out there. The humidity was high, too, especially the first half of the day backed off a little bit in the afternoon, but uh, it's going to crank back up again for our oh, Friday. Oh, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> right. Crystal City Sky Cam right now showing some sunshine out there, hazy sunshine, and just a little bit of a breeze out there. Temperature tonight settling back down to the upper 50s, so not that uncomfortable of a night, but temperatures heading back up into the upper 80s and lower 90s for our Friday. Weather headlines looking like this, more 90s in the forecast, perhaps into Saturday as well in advance of an approaching cold front. We may see some isolated thunder tomorrow afternoon. A little bit better chance on Saturday, but best chance for some uh, thunderstorms on Sunday. And it could be severe at that, that the complex back over the uh, western plains right now will be sliding over to the east over the next several days, finally reaching us by Sunday. And those storms could pack a punch here in the Twin Tiers. But for the time being, high pressure keeping us mainly dry, holding a lot of the precipitation at bay back off towards the west. And satellite radar map showing just that, just a little bit of hazy sunshine. A few storms tried to fire up over northwestern Pennsylvania today. Didn't have much luck. You have to travel back towards the Chicago area and especially points west of there to get in some of the uh, thunderstorm activity. But look at all the tornado watches that are currently in effect. Uh, these large red boxes indicate tornado watches from Wisconsin down through parts of uh, the Midwest and all the way down through the southern plains as well and numerous warnings within those watch boxes as well. And that's that complex that'll slowly be pushing off towards the east and eventually bring some severe weather potentially to our area by Sunday. In the meantime, though, just scattered clouds across the twin tiers tonight. Temperatures down in the 50s for lows. We're still at 87, though, in Elmira and in Rochester. Also 87 in Syracuse and Scranton. 91 the current temperature in Philadelphia. Weather watchers right now reporting temperatures in the upper 80s in Wellsburg, 86 Watkins Glen, and 88 right now in Penyon. 24-hour planner keeping us dry. Scattered clouds through the period upper 50s tonight. Forecasting 93 for tomorrow. And if we do hit 93, that'll break the old record of 92. That goes all the way back to 1937. Future track is showing that isolated shower or thunder shower threat for tomorrow afternoon and early evening hours. A dry overnight tomorrow night. And then for Saturday, as that front moves a little bit closer, a little bit better chance for a shower or thunderstorm. But again, the best chance holding off until Sunday. Today's 5-degree guarantee. We forecast 91. Our unofficial high today, 89. Forecast for the overnight period, upper 50s for the northern tier. Mansfield at 59. 60 your forecast low in Canton with partly cloudy skies. Also looking at scattered clouds over the southern tier. It will remain dry. 58 in Bath, 57 in Corning, and 58 tonight in Elmira. And for the Southern Finger Lakes area, expect low 60s up towards uh, Penyan and Dundee. 59 Watkins Glen and 60, your forecast low in Trumansburg. Seven-day forecast is showing more hot temperatures tomorrow and Saturday. But again, we're watching Sunday very closely as that cold front comes through. Stronger storms possible, but uh, Renata, you're going to like next week's forecast. Sunshine returning and temperatures upper 60s and lower 70s. Back down to my acceptable level. And that's right, and overnight low temperatures by then in the 40s, but uh, no frost in the forecast, so we're okay. All right, thank mm -hmm. you, Joe.